What's good with the YouTube? You already know Big Flacco with the comics reaction when we smash, dash, and react. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support this channel, and hit that bell notification for future fire content. And today we're gonna to be discussing about this individual man that uh Adam22 just recently uh interviewed. Man, this is a very delicate, sensitive su subject, man, because there's always been rumors and speculation of Adam 22s uh you know, relationships with people who are part of the all right, um, as well as neo-Nazi type of relationships. And he interviewed someone that is 100% involved and holds a leadership position, basically, within a neo-Nazi all right type of movement. And he has no type of, a, none at all, no type of a, a remorse, no type of sympathy towards the people that he interviews, the people that he employs at his place that bring all the views and bring all the you know, say the viewers and content, you know, let's just keep it real. His platform, which is social media based, YouTube specifically, is based around urban urban culture and mainly African-Americans, but probably Mexican-Americans being second. OK, so he should have a little bit more respect for his own people. But we've already seen the type of respect he has for even his own wife's, his own um, or fiance, whatever you want to call her. His his uh, co host people who worked for him, and there's been a lot of controversy around those that are in play by him. Let's just keep it 100. Now, I have I haven't really got to see or listen to everything that's going on, but I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tap in right now this second, and here's AD's reaction. AD's pissed off about it. You know what I'm saying? She should be. Got a little bit of coke, guys. Let me see this. Mr. Spencer, nigga. So okay. I want to I want to get the facts together because I got phone calls. People, a lot of people is upset about this shit, and I want to break it down to everybody. So oh, Virginia, Spencer. I read Charlotte, Virginia, right now. So let me let me read it. Oh, go ahead. Richard Bernard Spencer is an American neo-Nazi. Richard Spencer. This is what they're gonna say about this individual, guys, and then you guys can see why AD has a certain opinion see. on this. Anti-Semitic conspiracy theorists and white supremacists. A former a editor, he is a public speaker and activist on behalf of the All Right Movement. Holy he shit. advocates for the reconstruction of the European Union to a white racial empire, which he believes will replace the diverse European ethnic identifies with one of homo was it homogeneous? Yeah, white no, identity. No, no, no. For homogeneous. Homogeneous. It's homogeneous. Homogeneous. Okay, homogeneous. My fault. Spencer has advocated for the enslavement of. He's, yeah. There's a lot of these individuals that have these um, values who try to double dip and get their fucking voice out there, man. Why would he? I don't even understand why Adam would even interview this guy. Haitians by whites and for the ethnic cleansing of the racial minorities of the United States. Additionally, expressing admiration for the political tactics of the American Nazi Party. He was featured speaker at the August 2017 Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, among the other neo Nazi rallies. That's where that incident happened, where someone got, got injured and killed. I'm almost positive. And that is a place where a lady lost her her life. Yep. Over some shit that he led. Um, I'm gonna she, say I'm gonna say this shit, bro. She lost her life during like the rally, bro. Yeah, because they over here, bro. What they did, bro. And just just hearing and reading a little bit, just so we can have the context out there. I'm a little disappointed in Adam. You feel me? Um, this guy right here. He's he said the N word a lot of times. Wow. He said a lot of racist slurs towards our our people. N word. He says the N word with the E R. You guys know that. Um, it's obvious that he don't like black people like that, and the fact that he could come over here and get interviewed and not all this shit got shied past in the interview. I don't appreciate that Who shit. Interviewed him? Adam interviewed him. Man, let's jump that nigga. <laughs> Sit your ass no, down, but I'm a little, man. I'm a little disappointed. You should jump on that dude, man. You know what I'm saying? So not one time did he confront those sensitive issues. As a journalist, if you're gonna sit there and interview someone who's controversial, you don't have to believe in their beliefs, right? But you should at least, at least hit on those key points. Okay, well, what about this? What about that? Are you racist? Are you this and that? Do you believe in this movement? And get those answers. Okay, <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. I have Adam questions, know. right? I have no, questions. No, we're gonna do okay, that. Okay. I'm a little disappointed, Adam, though, because, like, you know, you have a mostly black staff. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> this, this no jumper is is built off of hip hop. 
You know what I'm saying? Wow. And That's right. Hip hop. Before you bring somebody over here, bro, like, nah, this your company. I ain't telling you what to do, but you got to have more respect for your people, man, and the people that fuck with you and help make this. You got to respect the people who work for you that they can trust you and know that you're going to stand behind them 100%, that you're not going to push their feelings to the side <clears throat> to cater to whatever you're trying to cater to. He also uh, interviewed that other guy that does racist, racist uh, uh, comedy. There was that show. They were making fun of Native Americans and stuff, man. I didn't find that too funny either. Platform better. I don't fuck with that shit. Accountability. That shit. Okay, Josh. Real so, shit. Josh, he's reformed. He's not that anymore. Josh, I don't give a fuck. No, no. I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm asking because I don't know. I just, I just, I don't know. I don't know much about him. But when he came here, he said these are past beliefs, and he's like moving. He's moved past this. Is what I did. I, I did not watch the interview, so I'm not a hundred percent. Because sure. obviously he's anti-Semitic, so just not towards black people. Obviously, that's probably his like main. Okay, now if those were his past beliefs. And it shouldn't be an issue, and it should be a discussion that's discussed. You don't neglect it, because neglect it means that you're hiding something. You know? You can't sit there and do an interview, oh, well, this is what he used to believe, and we're not going to touch on this. Nah, everybody's going to have that question. When you were neo-Nazi, what, what changed your beliefs? Those are the questions I want to know. What changed your beliefs if you're no longer that? And Adam failed to do that. Target, but right, but he's also towards like that to Josh. You know, Josh is a Jewish man and he's anti-Semitic where he feels like that about any minority. He feels like white is white and only white and white should. So that is crazy. And I, 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 yeah, but what the fuck are we doing? No, I know, but what Why I'm are we platforming is no, I know what I'm saying is I don't like, I didn't see the thing. So to me, it's crazy. I never even heard of this man uh, in my life. And, and then it's, I didn't either until I got the calls and, and people was out. You know, kind of looks like he's out of his league right now, huh? Like he's just trying to speak about something. So I said, you know what? I'm going to watch this shit. I'm not about to just keep, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, he just did that, did that. Like, no, we got to do our due diligence and, you know, bring it to the forefront. Because just like I was telling you, bro, yeah. we a representation of our people, bro. And if Most we're fucking with this company, bro, we got to hold everybody accountable, including Adam. Oh, yeah, dog. This was some wild ass shit. It was deep. And, 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 and a wobbler. I like the way uh, AD thinks, man. I think that when everything was going on with American Trolls, I think he was the one that handled himself the best. You know what I'm saying? It was just straight up, straightforward the whole time, man. This shit ain't right. I don't fuck with this. Yeah, nah, nah. There's some wild shit. And, and even reading, like, the shit, like, like for what did he do with Trump? Can can you go back to 2017 when Trump was elected? Yeah, give us the bullet points and the facts, because I want, you know, Early let's, get, let's get right into that shit. Since it wasn't in the interview. <sighs> Recent. Waiting for the facts of this. Some of that shit, do you know? Okay. On January 2017, the day of Mark. Oh, okay. On January uh, 15, 2017, the day of Martin Luther King's birthday, Spencer launched an All Right Cooperation in its website, allright.com. Another commentary uh, commentary website for all. Can you zoom in a little bit, Josh? My fault. Yeah. Yeah, um, they should have been better prepared. According, <laughs> no, no, I just couldn't see. I got you. I'm gonna Josh, you Hold up, Josh, right, I got go ahead, you. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, where? <laughs> now that's what I'm saying. Okay, the where the Charlottesville stuff. Okay, All right, I'm bro. gonna read it. Do no, it's good. Um, he led a torch lit protest in. Yeah, they got. This is kind of a real sensitive issue, though, man. Um, you know, sometimes I think some of the shit staged at that time, and I almost believe that a lot of things that they do is just fucking set up, set up. Stay sometimes. I wonder, you know. Charlottesville, Virginia, against the vote of the city council to remove a statue of Robert E. Lee, the commander general of the Confederate Army of the Northern Virginia. So people don't know he was a well known like slave owner. He was a racist man. The guy, the the, the statue, Robert yeah, E. Lee, or whatever his name is. Right. Just. Yeah, this was a big mm -hmm. story. He was involved a lot with like the Proud Boys. Like this is where they really like launched off from, like where this collective group of they were huge on hating minorities. They were like one of the ones, like forefront of it. Yeah, Proud Boys did have a lot of people who were uh, minority uh, against minorities, of course. But, uh, I actually talked to one that heads, I think it was the Oregon or Washington chapter, Tiny. He was supposed to interview on this show, man. Uh, I talked to him on the phone and he was two different people outside. He, he had a persona of this is him. And the Proud Boy part which was his political beliefs. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, some of the things when I heard him talk were not as bad as you thought. He admitted there used to be some people that were fucking prejudiced and racial within these groups and they gave the whole their whole group a bad name. I don't know, man. I, I should get him back on the interview like I was supposed to. That'd be a good one. Right there. 
There's a um that's like a black dude that played like in a jazz band and he's able to go to the rallies and stuff. Mm -hmm. Josh, you remember that guy? The the dude with the glasses? Mm -hmm. And he said that and, and he said that a lot of people like he would meet these KKK members and off outside of their 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 robe or whatever the fuck you want to call it, they're policemen, firemen, councilmen. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. A lot of the um, KKK members are other type of groups, man. They're they're rather used that they don't have no West Coast. They have kind of no say so. You know, South they're they're like a small little group. They have their fucking beliefs, and it's about the Bible and racial purity, and you know what I mean all this stuff like that, man. That's their main push as well as fucking. They think that they're in a, on a superior level, you know. And it was like the crap, but and and people would hate him because he would support him and try to see the positive in them. But he was like, he would be at rallies and say some wild and like be around some wild shit towards minorities, but especially black people. And it was like, fuck. So his people that he went that he knew that was in there end up being lawyers, doctors, police, hell everybody. yeah, everybody, everything, Man. police, and 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 a lot of that's from the south. But I'm pretty sure it's everywhere. Right, it is. Right. Every, it is everywhere. Is everywhere but sure. it's like a lot of MC clubs. You have uh, a lot of people hold different positions with MC clubs, doctors, lawyers, police, and so forth, believe it or not. They're not all thugs. So. You know, like wow. I said, if this is a, you know, no jumper to me is a hip hop platform. You know what I mean? We got a lot of dope minority talent over here. We do our thing and shit like that. People that don't fuck with people like us, they shouldn't come here. Fuck them. No, I ain't facts. fucking with that. Get in blood, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> hey, in AD, AD I, I know you're like huge on it, but like, Let's just say he's oh I'm just, just I'm just throwing shit. Yeah, well, if he's he changes ways, you need to address that. You can't just leave it unattended. It seems like you're hiding something. You know? That's just my personal perspective of it, man. That's my reaction. Out there, right? Let's just say he's like a real chase man now, uh, Christian devoted. He really wants to that was a fucking dark time in his in his life. Would you be willing to sit down and have a conversation? Well, you can't shy past it. That's, no, you. No, no. Whole, I'm, not saying, I'm, I'm not saying. Point of what I'm not saying. I'm not saying forget. But what I'm saying is, would you be able to have a conversation where he'll break down? This is why he thought how he was raised, and this is how I feel. Now let me tell you what the new me's trying. You know, that's a good question. But AD got the right answer. That's straight up one hundred. Exactly what I said from the get go. Trying to push and what the new me is trying to do for all communities, not just white, but black, brown, Asian, whatever. I mean, I don't have. No hate in my heart for everybody, anybody like that, but you know, I wouldn't want to sit down and talk to them. And if they are changed, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. God I'll power you. to you. I'll power God, to you. God bless you, but whoa, whoa. you know, I mean, well, maybe not I'll power to you. Just because people change does not mean that some people want to sit there and have those fucking interactions. Because a lot of people who've changed their ways still hold those ways secretly inside, believe it or not. A lot of times they find out that the cause or beliefs that they've had are fucking, they're not going to be able to obtain them. So they fucking decide to shy away. In the spotlight, shy away from that because they see it as a lost cause. Doesn't mean they change their thinking. There's other uh, people that I can sit and talk with. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I f yeah, that for that thumbnail was crazy. That's three very. This this video was self, you know, I mean, pretty much self explanatory. Man, there's nothing positive to really say about. Like I said, I've never liked Adam Twenty Two, and I told everybody from the get go the reasons why. Look it into his tw uh, Twitter fucking responses and things that he said on Twitter. He admitted to saying those, and his excuse is fucking full of shit. That's why I would never fuck with that dude. There's nothing good about that dude. He's a deviant. Now he looks like to be appeared to be potentially. Uh, he plays all sides. He plays what's going to be the fucking benefit for him. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with doing something that's going to be controversial, a little bit of drama for views. But you have to have some type of moral compass and respect your employees. This dude was a racist. This dude made a lot of comments. He did. A, he was part of a lot of things. Confront him all day. If he's no longer that, then confront him. But when you hide it, people are going to feel a certain way. With that, this is Cobb's reaction with your boy Big Flacco. I'm out.